What's going on, everybody? Real Car Collector here, back again uh, with uh, basically a, a first time video for me. Um, getting ready to send a uh, very first PSA submission. Um, I've actually got several cards that I've kind of looked through, um, and then this stack here will be the first ones I send off. Um, more or less, is kind of a as a trial. Um, I don't want to send a whole stack of them and then get a bunch of sixes back. Um, so kind of just see more or less how, how I do in picking these out, um, how they look, you know, in the slab. Some of these initial ones um, are of guys that I will likely try to move. Other ones are just, for me personally, um, cards that I want to get in slabs sooner versus later. Um, not for the fact of selling, but just for more or less protection. Um, so I'm going to kind of run through these um, guys that I picked. Um, and kind of why I picked them here. First one's is Randy. Um, now I realize I probably won't get these back until end of next baseball se or this coming baseball season, uh, maybe even the playoff time. Um, but this was a sepia card that I'd pulled, um, and it looks super clean. Um, I realize it's with the Cardinals, but um, with his rookie card um, and just being very very sharp, I thought well, we'll send it off if he's able to put together a another playoff like he did this year, then um, that would be one. Um, you know, if I sell it, great. If I don't, then you know, I'm not going to be disappointed having that one. I just like this, the look of the sepias, honestly. This is Jordan Walker. He was a first-rounder for the Cardinals. Um, and actually, I believe he's a – now that I'm thinking about it, I think he's a, a third baseman. Yeah, third baseman. Um, so he may end up being trade bait for the Cardinals with their signing. Um, but first rounder, autograph card, just a base auto. Um, I'd actually pulled this out of a, uh, the Bowman's Best that I had opened. Um, so yeah, I would like to get that get that slabbed up. One, because he's a first rounder, but more or less because he's a Cardinal. Um, this one is one I just pulled uh, not that long ago, maybe a week or so ago. It's the Jordan Alvarez, um, number one of 50. I can see that down there at the bottom. Um, but it's the, I believe they call that the gold. Um, just a, I mean, it's stadium club Chrome super cards anyway, but you get a numbered card and, and he's, a a guy that I'm really anticipating having just a, a big year. If he can stay healthy, of course that's with everybody, but, um, he could put some numbers together in a hurry. Um, this was a very, very big pull out of the same, um, uh, that I pulled that Jordan Walker, this is the Jason Dominguez out of 150, um, on card, auto card, just, just ridiculous looking card there. So again, that's one that, um, more or less just want to get in a slab, uh, for protection purposes. Really hope he pans out. I mean, he's kind of a long shot. He's a young kid. Um, but he's got a lot of hype around him now. Chances are by the time that card comes back, a lot of the hype may more or less be gone. Um, this was one of, uh, may actually be the, the, uh, the first auto that I pulled this year. It was a redemption, um, from obviously Topps Chrome, got it out of a blaster box. Um, and I don't think I got that one on video actually, but it was one of the reasons I started video in was just to kind of get some of these big hits, these big cards on tape, going back and watching them. It just, it's, I don't know, it's just fun. It's more or less fun for me. Um, but rookie card, hopefully he can put some numbers together, um, and have a good year for himself. Um, next few are some Luis Roberts. Again, these are more or less a gamble. Um, it's one of those things you may have missed the shot kind of deal. Um, obviously had a lot of hype this year. We'll see how he does this, this coming up year, but this is a sepia card. Um, again, just, as a rule, I, I like the uh, the chrome sepias. This one actually has one little, I don't know if you can see it through there or not. You can kind of see it. One little spot right there, and that's actually on the card. Um, there's kind of a little dimple there. So I'm sure that'll get knocked, but um, I don't know. I still like the card. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then this is the complete set variation. Nice one there, and then this is his Series 2 um, 
car. That was I pulled that one kind of right off the bat this year. So again, I, most of these cards are ones. I guess coming up, not not all of them, but most of them are, are cards that um, I actually pulled and and have the pull on on tape, which is kind of nice. This is a um, Eloy, um, his Chrome rookie. This is from uh, a year ago. I'd actually gotten it a year ago, um, but got it in a top loader right away, um, and it stayed very very clean. So we'll see how that one does. He's one of those guys that has potential to be a um, an MVP guy just about any year. Um, he can put lots of numbers together. These are cards I did not pull. Um, I purchased these. Shoot, it's been a while ago now. Um, I actually got them for a decent price. They're both very clean. Um, I got them both thinking, oh, maybe one of them will be um, gradable. There's one of these that's got, I think it's the back one. It's got a little bit of a soft corner right there, um, which will obviously bring it down a little bit. But Akuna rookie cards, again, he's one of those guys that's going to be good for a long time if he stays healthy. This is more or less um, a prospecting job here. Um, so I got this this year out of Bowman Platinum. Um, it's the Adelaide number to 150. Bowman Platinum is um, actually pretty terrible as far as finding clean cars. They just chip super, super easy. Um, but this one is, was very clean across the face. Uh, didn't have any big lines across the back. The corners are sharp. And again, he's um, a guy that could pop off. Um, he's you know one of the chaser guys this year, so um, we'll see how it does. Um, that'd be one that you know if it grades decent, if he does decent, and I can sell it and put the money towards um, you know new product or, or something I would enjoy more. Then um, that's kind of the goal with that one. A couple of uh, rookie debuts. Um, these are ones that I pulled myself a year ago that's kind of squared away a little bit there and um normally uh, the rookie debuts are you know kind of second tier which i mean they, they still are but with with these in particular um, they're actually holding pretty well um same thing with with eloys are holding pretty well with um sotos are holding pretty well so that will we'll get them get them in slabs um, I really would like to get his his true his flagship rookie. Um, so if these can come together pretty well, can get them moved, um, and then maybe get a, a flagship rookie, or or better yet, buy unopened 2019, um, and see if I could pull it myself. That would be ideal. So we'll see how that goes. And then three of the debut Sotos. These are all the tops Chrome. Um, again, he's one of those guys that's. Been good for a few years. Is going to be good for a few few more years. Um, potential MVP candidate. Um, if the Nationals can put a season together, uh, they're going to make you know playoff runs about every year, really. Um, so three of his debut cards. Um, again, we'll see how those go. If you know if I can keep one and move two, then then great. Um, so that's what we've got. I think there's uh, 16 or 17. I've actually got a stack of um, just under 100 um, that I would like to grade, but I'm going to send them in small batches to start with just so I don't um, send a bunch there. They all do garbage and um, kind of regret the whole thing. So those are going to go out here this week. Um, I'm probably going to go through a submission service. Uh, I was looking at Nash cards. Um, they seem to have some pretty good reviews, um, pretty clear as far as expectations and what they want done. So, um, getting that, the sheets filled out, get those sent off again, it'll be several months before they come back, which is fine. Um, that, uh, the Dominguez is the one that makes me super nervous. Um, just cause that's of all these, this is, this is the one that, you know, I don't want to get lost in translation, lost in the mail, lost in route somewhere. Um, so obviously have the insurance and stuff on it, but I don't want, just want the uh, the money back. I just want that card. That was a, a fun pull, a neat pull. Um, so hopefully that one does well. At any rate, let me know what you think. Um, pros, cons, um, any advice of guys that have, have submitted before in the past. Um, 
anything that you saw on, on cards in particular that you'd say, absolutely not, don't send that. Um, that's, you know, that's all helpful. Again, uh, subscribe if you, if you would. Um, hit that thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down. Um, really appreciate you watching.